One thing I've never understood is why do people feel like they need to defend God? Isn't that strange? I don't defend God. He defends me. Oops, this chair just moved. If you're God, let me pull these glasses up. Well, I forgot what I was going to say. Does that ever happen to you? You forget what you're going to say? Ever since I turned 40, as the years go by, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, on to 48, I rarely can push record before I have forgotten already what I'm going to say. Oh, <clears throat> my God's never asked me, the one that I believe in, has never asked me to um, fly a plane into a building or blow up an abortion clinic. I think that's really the same spirit. I think um, my God doesn't need to be defended. And before he tells me to go hurt somebody, I'm going to view that message through the lens of Jesus. Because even the Old Testament, you don't need to look at the Old Testament any other way but through the lens of Jesus. And before you carry out anything God tells you to do, you better look at it through that lens. Is it going to help somebody? Is it going to build somebody up? Is it going to um, feed somebody, clothe somebody, encourage somebody? And a lot of people look at Jesus through the lens of the Old Testament. But you really need to look at the Old Testament through the lens of Jesus because Jesus even, you know, corrected the Old Testament. You know, he said, you've heard it said, eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but I tell you. He was raising the standard. The um, eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth was a good standard in its day because back in that day, if someone knocked out one of your teeth, you're supposed to knock out all of his teeth. If somebody kills one member of your family, you're supposed to slaughter all of his. Well, Moses raised the standard. Hey, we're going to do this equitably. That's a good word, equitably. If uh, someone knocks out one tooth, you can only knock out one tooth. Well, Jesus raised the standard even more. He took it to a higher level, a level of grace. We're not under the law anymore. We're under grace. Where if someone slaps you in the face, you turn the other cheek. Where if someone uh, kills you, you're going to get to live. You know, to, to live, you die. To win, you lose. I mean, the kingdom of God is backwards. It's like backing up a trailer. Whichever way you think to go, do the opposite, and you're probably right.